Hey, welcome to class today, uh, Thursday. Um, today we're going to work on the measurement, project 1.3.4 measurements lab skimmer. As you can see, the long-term and short-term learning targets that are assessed during this lab or project are in, are listed above. Your task now will be to spend three minutes and read through this paragraph here. All right, you're going to take that and you're going to um, circle read through the first time for the gist. The second time, I'd like you to circle any vocabulary words that you notice in that paragraph. So you should pause the video now for approximately three minutes. Okay, as you can see, I've identified some of the vocabulary words that are being assessed or being talked about during this uh, project. They include the metric system, the standard system, the customary system, STEM, scientists, technologists, mathematicians, and engineers. I also had a few students talk about analyze, which I don't know, I can't really find right now, but that's a very good one. Precision would also be another one we should probably circle. And measurement, of course. System, system, precise, measurement system. So as you can see, there is a ton of vocabulary words just in the small introduction paragraph. Please turn your packet now to page two. I will read through the first step of the procedure. Please follow along. Neatly and accurately use the plan sheet and measuring tools to draw your skimmer, main body, air scoop, and two fins onto the material that you will use to make your skimmer. We're actually not going to do that exactly how it's written. Today what we're going to do is we're going to create a layout or a rough draft of a layout of our skimmer. As you can see right here, there are some drawings right here and I just want to turn your attention, okay? This right here is an orthographic drawing. We're going to be working on that next unit, but it's good to be familiar with it for now. This is what our skimmer will look like in the front, top, and side view. Please take a minute right now and identify the front, the top, and the side view of your skimmer. Once again, this is an orthographic drawing. Next, I'd like you to identify the isometric drawing on the right of your sheet. The isometric drawing shows us the overall view of what the skimmer is going to look like when it's finished. I wish it wasn't in black because you'd be able to see the better detail, but you'll notice the air scoop, the two fins, and the main body panel. On the third sheet of your lab or your plan sheet, you're going to notice a what I call a cut sheet or a layout, okay? This is not exactly how we're going to lay it out because we're already required to make two fins. However, it's going to give us the major dimensions that we need for each of our objects, such as the body panel, which you'll notice is 11 inches by 4 inches. Now we're going to start by drawing the main body panel. And what our end goal is, it's going to look like something like this. Okay, so I'm going to take a minute here and I'm going to start drawing this. Now you'll notice that in our cut sheet or our layout, we identify that it's 4 inches by 11 inches. I know that a paper, a white sheet of paper, is 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to use that to my advantage there. Now, I am going to draw this 4 inch mark. Please note that I use, and I go ahead and I make two measurements. Okay, it's very important to make two measurements. As you'll also notice, I don't have any of the proper tools at home. So I'm going to have to use this ruler right here, which I would not recommend. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. Okay, and I'll draw my solid line there. Okay. Now, it's probably challenging to notice, but...
this line is at four inches. Okay, and you can see that right here. It's at four inches there, and it's also at four inches there. Please note that I always start at the zero. On this rule, the zero happened to be at the end of the ruler, but the rulers in the classroom are not that way. Referring now back to my plan sheet, you might notice that this gap right here is three inches. But a more critical detail is this two and a half, in, or a half inch and a half inch right here. This is describing the dotted line. Right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make that dotted line. Notice I use the ruler and I mark off one half of an inch. And once again I mark off one half of an inch. I will then use my straight edge of my ruler to make a dashed line down the side of the paper. Please pay special de notice or detail to the orientation of my paper. It's in landscape, which is the long way. But not only that, how big each of these things are relative to the other items on the page. Yours should be similar. Once again, we're going to do the half inch right here as well. So I'll use the ruler once again, and I'll make a half inch line or mark right there. And I'll do the same thing. But this time, I'm going to use the half inch a little differently. So now it's in half, and I'll make the mark as a zero. So you can use the ruler either way. It's still going to work. I just showed you two different ways to use a ruler there. Once again, I'll use that solid line. Oh, I'm supposed to be making a dash. My mistake. Hopefully that dries up in a matter of seconds. All right. <clears throat> Next I'm going to be drawing the three inch line across the front of the page. You'll notice that the three inch line is also dotted. That is going to be very important during our assembly of our skimmers. And after the three inch line, it becomes a solid line. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to choose this end right here to be my end and once again you'll notice that I make two measurements that is so important for ensuring that I have a straight line once again I should pay special attention to the fact that this is going to be a dotted line and after it it's going to be a solid line Hopefully that doesn't ruin my marker. Probably will. That's going to be important when I go to assemble. And I can label this now main body panel. The video should be paused now for approximately 8 to 10 minutes while the students draw their main body panel. At the end of this, make sure the students write their name right here. If you get this done today, this is the main thing I want done. So take a minute now and pause the video. Now that you're done with the main body panel, you can work on the fin design. The fin design is also very, very simple. Let me show you how simple it can be. We're going to use the advantage of our sides of our papers to help us draw the fins. Alright, so let's look at the fins real quickly here. So we have some critical measurements. We have 3 inches by 3 inches. That's going to be the corner. And then each of those have a half inch gap right there. It corresponds to that half inch gap for our assembly. But each side has a half inch gap. There's a very easy way to draw this. And I'm going to show you that right now. The first step is we're going to mark off three inches. So notice I'll start there on the edge of my three inch mark and I'll mark it at zero right there. And I'll do the same thing over here, but this time I'm going to use start at zero and I'm going to mark it three. I am then going to take and measure out a half of an inch. And I'll do the same thing down here one half inch. Almost done with the fin. Notice that each of these lines are a half inch. I will then connect the dots.
Done. Label it fin one. Do the same thing on the other side of the paper. Once again, I label my three, make a mark. Do the same thing up here. I'm going to make a mark. I am then going to draw a half inch up from each of those. And connect the dots. And label it fin two. Pause the video now, and this should be all you probably get to today. Now that you're done with the two fins, we're gonna use some basic things of this design right now to help us with our air scoop, which is our most challenging part of this whole design. Let's look at the air scoop together. Notice it's three inches as well, the corresponding to this three inch here on the fin. We're gonna use that to our advantage when drawing this. Also, notice it's three inches here. I'm gonna teach you a special technique for getting that three inch mark. All right, so it's three by three. We're gonna draw a three by three box first. Then we'll come back and we'll do these challenging side pieces which are one to three eighths tapered. Tapered is when you, one place another. Notice I'm starting my ruler right here. Now I know that my ruler is straight and I'm gonna make my marks. Now I'm holding the ruler across here. Notice it starts at the zero and it ends at the 11. I need to find the midpoint of that. If I take 11 and I divide it by two, I will get five and a half inches. That's right here. If I want a three inch line, dividing that by two equals one and a half inches. So I'll take my five and a half and I'll go one half and one and I'll mark it off with a four and I'll do the same thing on the other side, one half and then one and marking it on the seven. So now I know that my points are gonna end at the four and the seven. I'm gonna line it up down here at the bottom as well. That's very critical for making straight lines. Once again, mark it off at the seven and the four. These sides right here, I always make this mistake and it's okay if you do. They're dotted lines. So let's go ahead, and we should all be using pencils, so it's okay, but go ahead and make our dashed lines. And I'll make my other dashed lines right here. I'm gonna draw a solid line across the top now to close in my three inch square. Great. Let's refer back to our drawing now. I have my three inch side and I have my three inch side. Now I have to put a one eighth to three eighths taper on the side. That's a quarter inch taper. Okay. I took and I multi I'm subtracted one eighth or three eighths minus one eighth equals, notice that they're common denominators. Three minus one is two. That is an even numerator. Anytime we're measuring or even numerator, you divide the top and the bottom by four by two, and I get one and a quarter. So one quarter inch taper we're gonna have here. So we're gonna start off with the eighth inch line. Now I've taught many of you a trick that the rule is different lines, but we know that one eighth is actually equivalent, one eighth is equivalent to two sixteenths. Therefore, we know three eighths is equivalent to, yes, six sixteenths inches. I should be put labeling these. I would mark all those wrong. Once again, now I draw out the paper here, mark it one eighth, and then come down to the bottom, and I'm gonna mark it three eighths. I'm now gonna draw a solid line from those two points. This line should be the only line thus far that you've drawn out, oh, I guess these two are, but is not straight. Do the same thing on this side and you're almost complete. When drawing your rough draft and you're finished here, you're gonna check it off with Mr. Abbott. 
before starting your final drawing. It is so important that your measurements are accurate and precise in order to have a successful skimmer. And we're going to label this the air scoop. Okay? Notice all this area right here, this is your only scrap. If you do not lay these out exactly this way, you might not have straight sides in your fins, or you might run out of room. I am only giving each person one sheet of cardstock paper. All right, good luck, and make sure you work hard the entire class.